On August 28, 2020, at approximately 6.04 p.m., the San Bernardino Police Department's dispatch center received a 911 call from a San Bernardino resident regarding a man with a gun at a home in the 3400 block of North Mount View Avenue. The caller reported that he and his family were inside of the house when Jesus Polito, who was armed with a handgun and possibly under the influence of drugs, broke into the house. While Polito was in the house, the caller and Polito got into a physical fight and Polito pistol whipped the caller. The caller suffered head injuries but was able to escape from the house with one other resident. The caller had been unable to evacuate his wheelchair-bound elderly mother, leaving her behind with Polito, who was still in the house with the gun. Hello, 911. We need help. We got a guy with a gun in my house. What's the address? 404 North Mountain View Avenue. It's a house or apartment? It's a house. All right, who has a, who's inside with a gun? It's a, a Jesus Polito. Who is Jesus Polito? He's under the influence. He's got, he's, he's high. Was he white, black, he's in the house. We were able to run away, my wife and I. We need the cops right there, 911. My mom is in the back room. <laughs> Who is Jesus Polito? He, he's the guy that broke in and he's, he's trying to shoot us. Who is he? How do you know him? He's a brother-in-law. My sister's, uh, <laughs> my, my wife's uh, brother. All right, what kind of gun was it? I don't know, he's got like a... Is, is it a handgun, a rifle? Yeah, a handgun, semi-automatic handgun. What color? A nine, nine millimeters. <laughs> what color? It's black. Adam, 14 and 17, start towards a man gun, 3404 North Downs, down channel 1. Possibly going to be a 2125, a known subject is inside, armed with a gun. Possibly 11550, we are still on line trying to get further. The first two officers to arrive at the residence attempted to make contact with Polito by knocking on the front door, but Polito did not open the door and responded by yelling at them from within the house. It appeared that Polito was not going to cooperate and he was known to have at least one firearm with him, so the officers withdrew from the door. Once additional officers arrived, they positioned themselves so that some were watching the back of the house while the officers at the front of the house made PA announcements asking Polito to come out. The announcements were made in both English and Spanish, but Polito remained inside of the house. You can hear the announcements yelling back and After several minutes of making announcements by PA, one of the officers watching the rear of the house saw smoke coming from the back side of the house, indicating that a fire had begun inside. The fire created an immediate need to rescue the elderly woman from inside. Adam 16, we got black smoke coming out of the north side of the residence. Yeah, he started a fire. Baker 7, did you copy the possible 20 of mom? Uh, if you can try to get it, it sounds like he lit the house on fire. Four officers approached the front door, but the door was locked, requiring them to force entry. Immediately after kicking the front door open, the officers were confronted by Polito, who was moving toward the front door as he was holding a rifle in one hand and a handgun in the other. Polito began raising the guns toward the officers, and it was at that point that the two officers fired their duty weapons at Polito. Polito fell to the ground and officers entered the house. 
Once inside, the officers were able to locate the elderly woman and extinguish the fire that had begun in the kitchen area. The woman was frightened but uninjured. Medical aid was summoned for Polito, however, he did not survive his injuries. The police department's homicide unit responded to investigate the incident and their work was overseen by investigators from the San Bernardino County District Attorney's Office. The investigation revealed that the rifle was a pellet gun and the handgun was a functioning 9mm firearm. Multiple expended 9mm casings were found inside of the house indicating that Polito had fired the handgun while inside. Polito was on active parole and had an arrest warrant for criminal threats at the time of this incident.